Now, they've braved inhospitable landscapes and been deprived of food and water, all to find out if man can survive on Mars. We're talking about three research students from the University of Bristol who've become the first UK crew to spend time in the Mars Desert Research Station in America. Will Glennon took one giant leap to meet them. Mars, the nearest planet to Earth that man could potentially inhabit. But what a challenge it would be to tame a landscape where there's no air to breathe, no water, and huge extremes of hot and freezing cold. A barren landscape where everything you need to stay alive would have to be brought with you. And although this looks like Mars, it's actually the Utah desert. The spacesuits are semi-real too, as researchers here try to live just as they would if on a mission to Mars. Each time we uh, left the Martian facility, we had to wear spacesuits to go outside on our extravehicular activities. We had to eat food similar to what astronauts would eat. We had limited supply of water, electricity, etc. So I think that gave us quite a good notion of what it would be like for real astronauts uh, in space and on Mars. Michaela is one of three scientists from Bristol taking part here in a UK first. She was in charge of the greenhouse and growing plants for food. There were other experiments too, like turning rocks into rocket fuel. But the hardest part was just living together in confined spaces with restricted access to everything. Living uh, with seven people where you really don't have personal space for extended periods of time was very interesting. It was quite difficult in that nobody could really escape anywhere. You couldn't, you were always in the face of the other person. So uh, even the smallest thing, almost the smallest problems were amplified. Everything this crew learnt in their weeks in the desert will feed into a wider study. There is a real plan to staff a mission to Mars within 20 years, maybe even 10. If man does ever set foot on the red planet, it could be the small steps taken by our intrepid explorers that help get us there. Will Glennon, BBC Points West, Bristol.